Welcome to Buckeye Turf Podcast. My name is Carl Dannerberger, Professor of Turfgrass Science at The Ohio State University. This podcast is a brief overview of cool season turf grasses. Cool season turf grasses are grouped in the Festicoidae subfamily of the family Poaceae. The major cool season turf grasses are the fescues, blue grasses, rye grasses, and bent grasses. Cool season turf grasses are adapted to the temperate regions of the world. Temperate is defined as an average monthly temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees centigrade for four to seven months of the year. The major temperate regions where cool season turf grasses are maintained, although not exclusively, is in the northern United States and Europe. In this table, a comparison between the optimum temperatures for growth of cool season turf grasses and warm season turf grasses is provided. Cool season turf grasses, optimum temperature for growth is considerably lower than for warm season turf grasses. Growth habit is a means of grouping cool season turf grasses. Turf grasses that spread through tillering are referred to as bunch type. The photo with the golf club resting on a patch of tall fescue reflects the bunch type growth habit of this turf grass. Perennial ryegrass, tall fescue, and some of the fine fescues have bunch type growth habits. Rhizomes are underground stems that give rise to new daughter plants. Of the cool season turf grasses, Kentucky bluegrass is the predominant rhizominous turf grass. Stolons are similar to rhizomes, except they are above ground stems. Creeping bent grass and some of the perennial poannuals have stoloniferous growth habits. Cultural intensity will be a term used to describe the overall management levels of turf grasses. Intensity increases the more intense the management practices become. For example, lower mowing heights, more frequent irrigation and fertilization are examples of increasing management intensity. The cultural intensity of how a turf grass is managed is, is influenced by how it is used. For example, a green is more intensively managed than a fairway and a fairway is more intensively managed than a rough. In general, however, this chart ranks the cool season turf grasses relative to their uh, cultural intensity. The first cool season turf grass discussed is Kentucky bluegrass or Poa pretensis. The adaptive range of Kentucky bluegrass is based on its good heat tolerance and excellent cold tolerance. On golf courses, Kentucky bluegrass is used on fairways, tees, and roughs. Management practices for fairways and roughs are dependent on whether supplemental irrigation is available or not. In this case, the fairway lacks a supplemental irrigation system. Kentucky bluegrass mechanism for avoiding moisture stress is through plant dormancy, which results in this brownish to off-white color shown in, the pre in this slide and in the previous slide. From a management perspective, on irrigated Kentucky bluegrass fairways, mowing heights are slightly lower and fertilization levels higher compared to non-irrigated fairways. At the lower range of mowing heights, normally below one inch, poanio can become extremely competitive in irrigated Kentucky bluegrass fairways. In roughs, Kentucky bluegrass is mowed at an inch and a quarter or higher and normally fertilized with one to two pounds of actual nitrogen per thousand square feet with application split between spring and fall. Fairways, including Kentucky bluegrass fairways, are mowed with real mowers, while roughs can be mowed with either a real or rotary mower. Rotary mowers are generally preferred because of a better, more consistent cut at the higher heights. Perennial ryegrass, or lowland perenne, is similar in climatic adaptation to that of Kentucky bluegrass. In general, perennial ryegrass does not have the cold tolerance of Kentucky bluegrass, which limits its use in the colder climates. Perennial ryegrass is used in similar situations as that of Kentucky bluegrass, 
on both tees, fairways, and roughs. It may be seeded alone or in mixture with Kentucky bluegrass. In fairways, perennial ryegrass tolerates a lower mowing height than Kentucky bluegrass, going as low as a half inch. Fertilization for all practical purposes is the same as an irrigated Kentucky bluegrass turf. In roughs, maintenance of perennial ryegrass is similar to that of Kentucky bluegrass. Perennial ryegrass is also used as a winter overseeding of warm season turf grasses like Bermuda grass. The turf podcast on winter overseeding provides a more in-depth description of the process. And we would recommend that you refer to that for more information on this process. Finally, fescues have limited use on golf courses in the United States. They are primarily used in home lawn situations as a shade mix with Kentucky bluegrass or further north in the United States may be the primary lawn turf. Globally, finely fescues are found on links type golf courses in the United Kingdom, Ireland, and Northern Europe or courses that have a deep sandy soil profile and a very temperate climate. Its use is primarily on fairways and roughs. It may, however, be used on greens. In the United States, there are a few lynx-type courses that have fine fescue fairways, but where it is used to the greatest extent is in the roughs. The two major species used on golf courses is creeping red fescue along with chewing's fescue. On those select few golf courses, mainly lynx courses, maintaining fine leaf fescue greens is extremely difficult to, due to competition from Poe annual. In general, fine leaf fescues are mowed at a relatively high height of cut and receive minimal amounts of nitrogen. Looking at a fine leaf fescue fairway management program, mowing heights are generally between three quarters and an inch with periodic nitrogen applications during the year. Finally, fescue turf can quickly decline in areas of wear. Golf cart traffic and poor soil conditions has resulted in a loss of this fine leaf fescue turf. Where fescue fairways are at a risk is during winter playing months through northern Europe. On some links golf courses, hitting off mats is done to reduce wear and damage to the turf. Our final turf grass to be discussed is Poe annua, or as it's sometimes called, annual bluegrass, or annual meadow grass, or winter grass. It is a ubiquitous grass species on golf courses globally. It can be considered a weed to be controlled or a desirable turf grass species to be maintained. In this podcast, we look at its adaptation and management. Poe annual is an extremely competitive grass species that colonizes creeping bent grass greens, in this case mostly likely in an annual type. In this photograph, the light green patches are Poe annual. Looking at the two types of Poe annual, the annual type is a prolific seed producer that tillers and spreads to a limited degree. This type usually colonizes greens first. As a poe annual colonizes the greens, the patches become larger and the perennial types within these patches begin to express themselves. In some situations, poe annual be can become the predominant turf grass species found on greens and fairways, which is this case on this golf course in Portugal. As a comparison to the more annual type of poe annual shown previously, these are examples of perennial types. The perennial type, which is sometimes called creeping bluegrass, produces stolons and forms a much denser canopy. These types also produce fewer inflorescence or seed heads. Poenio is sensitive to environmental stresses. This Poenio green has suffered freeze injury, which is one of the components of winter injury. Poenio is also susceptible to summer stress. 
A major difficulty in managing Poa annua is this sensitivity to environmental stresses. From a maintenance perspective, maintaining Poa greens is quite similar to that of creeping bent grass. Poa can tolerate low mowing heights in nitrogen fertilization programs similar to creeping bent grass. Poa often predominates in fairways on golf courses in the northern United States and along coastal areas. Again, fairway management programs are similar to that of creeping bent grass. This concludes this brief overview of cool season turf grasses used on golf courses.